typical YouTuber, so it's kind of loud because I'm sitting outside. But today's video is basically going to be what to expect when you get a tattoo, how a tattoo works, basically just everything that happens up to the point before you're getting tattooed. So if you're new to the tattoo world and you just kind of want to know what happens and how it's going to happen or what to kind of pay attention to, then this video is for you or if you just want to watch it because I'm awesome and stuff like that you can watch it too but I just want to say that every tattoo artist is different every tattoo artist uses you know different supplies and different stuff but in the same breath of word um, being sterile being clean and everything being set up in a very healthy type of manner kind of like when you go to a doctor's appointment or something it should look a certain way so without further ado let's get started first thing that's gonna happen is they should clean the area where you're gonna get tattooed some artists use green soap some artists use alcohol and they're gonna clean the area that they're going to tattoo then they're gonna take some green soap and lather up the area get it real soapy so that they can shave the area yes shave the area mm-hmm once your artist has the area nice and shaved like a baby's bottom, we're going to wipe away all the hairs so that they're not there, just in the way. And then we're going to take some stuff called stencil stuff. Some artists use other products. And this is going to help the stencil for the tattoo design to actually stick on the skin. So we're just going to stick a really thin layer onto the skin so that way that baby will stick on there real nice. If you're getting a design free hand drawn on, they're probably just going to use Sharpies and this step will be skipped. And look at that, that says tattoo Barbie. <laughs> and then the stencil itself is probably going to be like a purple color unless your artist uses green stencil paper. And then wherever you want the design placed, we're going to put the tattoo stencil on, apply some pressure, and peel it back. Now let your artist know if you want this design moved because once it's tattooed, it's going to be there forever and ever. So yeah, after we get the stencil on, we're going to let it dry for about 7 minutes. artist setup is different this is just kind of a basic idea of what it should look like um, there should be a brand new needle a brand new tube if your artists use stainless steel tubes it's just really their preference but everything should be basically wrapped in plastic very clean neat and organized I just have my inks here and the stencil stuff just to kind of show you what that looked like um, but yeah pretty much everything needs to be clean just like when you go to a doctor you would not want to go to a doctor's office and everything is dirty and not organized so just don't be afraid to ask your tattoo artist questions if you just kind of want to know how everything works Hope you enjoyed this video basically out of everything that you watched today I just hope that you pay attention just make sure like things like the armrest is wrapped up properly you know you're not getting tattooed in a bed full of bed bugs and staph infection and rats and just get tattooed in the shop make sure everything is done properly just pay attention you know sterile environment is very important and if you like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already follow me follow me on instagram at tattoo underscore barbie underscore and facebook at the tattoo barbie so until next time i'll see y'all beautiful people later bye